UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. For my money, Mike is the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon. This Bruce is Butler. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, super. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, I'll go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. Martial artist, you want to compete at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, and dating to 2016, a lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity, the greatest heavyweight fighters to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, big head kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice. 
nice, beautiful collar tie. He's got him in the clinch. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lee. What a body kick. Single collar tie there. Lands a switch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Great posture control by his opponent. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Single collar tie now. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. And he landed the right hand there. Just misses with the jab. All right, single collar tie now. Liver kick. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check it, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent's getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, Blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yes. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. Lee's punch to the body. That one is blocked. Switching stances here. Can't take many of those, you better check. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He loaded up on that right hand too. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's it coming. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. You cannot take many of those kicks. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Powerful leg kick lands. Punch over the top. 
right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice leg kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big head kick lands. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good stick. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. That right hand landed. Big kick lands. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA a ball and watch guys now fight behind the jab. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. He loaded up there on that high kick. Throwing hard in the pocket. Real quick leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick lands. Lee's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Real nice body. Oh, nice. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just out of the range with that right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Bad. Oh, he might be out. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictated the fight with a jab. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, straight right. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. That's the end of round number two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Right.
All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Wow. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home. of that nice body kick. Checks the leg kick. Great punch. Caught that kick there. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Single leg, take down. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Good punch, Lance. And they separate. Head kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. Got it done with a strike, he fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judge of Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Roundhouse kick, and it lands. It lands, and even if you think you're blocking it, it really is still having an effect on your opponent. Great diversity in this attack. Nice elbow for the punch. Nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. We got him with his hip into that kick. Head kick, that's a miss. Oh, big punch land. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Attacking the body now. That shot blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, big shot land. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Head kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Hard shots landing on both sides here. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, suddenly, he'll change his stance. 20 seconds left. <laughs> 15 seconds. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice body kick. 
Oh, that's a good strike there by Lou. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Dig and kick. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, that body kick was there earlier. Not there on that attempt. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. What a punch. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice head kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big kick land. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. <laughs> Left hand counter. Beautiful body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Ooh, what a punch. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Got the single collar tie. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. And might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before. Now he's doing everything in combination. And they're all landing. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it. And he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching, yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at. Oh, huge right hand! And a knee. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at him working. Looks like he did just on him a little bit. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. from the top here by Lee. Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! What a performance! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent.
Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, two seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.